Hey guys, long time no see. The previous few months were very hectic and I had to press pause on my creative journey and focus more on uni. So I did not draw at all for like two months, I think. But since the holidays have started, I decided to pick up where I had left off and continue painting this acrylic painting. Honestly, I had no idea why I started this painting. It was just this sudden urge to use as many colors as possible on a single canvas. And I wanted to make a painting that could easily catch someone's eye. Yes, I am an attention seeker. <laughs> the only problem with this piece is probably the size. I had envisioned it to be a little bit bigger. But the thing is, larger canvases tend to be intimidating to me. So hopefully I can paint a big piece soon, but until then, this is all you'll get. <laughs> So the next project I finished was this Snoopy sculpture. I used paper clay and lots of water. The thing about paper clay is that it's quite unforgiving when you don't have enough water so always remember to bring like a big tub of water whenever you need to use it because it just dries up so quickly. And I think I finished sculpting this little guy in like August and I just left it there to collect dust. So I'm very very sorry Snoopy. Anyways, at least I found enough motivation to finish painting him. Besides, it's pretty simple. It's just like a few black dots and a red collar. The thing is, what I'm most proud of is the fact that it can stand on two feet. Two feet that I made from scratch. And I think that's really cool. Plus, it, he's just so cute. <laughs> Look at him sunbathing. <laughs> I actually filmed the whole process of sketching the draft and doing line art for this piece but I eventually decided to exclude it because not gonna lie it looks so boring and I didn't want to waste your time. So here you can see how I use my Copic markers. I use them in a very delicate manner because they bleed through the paper like there's no tomorrow. And also I'm using a Muji sketchbook. The pages are so thin and vulnerable that I have to put like two rough papers at the back page to prevent the ink from penetrating to my other drawing which you'll see later. But with all that being said, I really love drawing this piece because it's just filled with so many striking colors. And for the background, I tried to emulate the style shown in the animation into the Spider-Verse, which is literally one of the best movies I've ever watched. Like every single frame is so beautifully crafted. Not a single second was like wasted. And I love how the animators just brought comic to life instead of going for the realistic approach, which is kind of boring. I want to see something that's like trippy as hell, you know? Something that makes me trip. Oh, and here's some ASMR coming in. I'm gonna let you listen to it. Drawing the background was the most exciting part because I did it spontaneously. All the hot pink and light blue strokes are done very randomly and I just felt so free drawing something that wasn't so restrictive, you know, like doing line art. That makes me hold my breath, makes my palms sweaty, weak arms, heavy mom spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, speaking of Spider-Verse, the new movie is coming out soon, eh? And to say that I'm excited is a great understatement. I waited like I think three years for this and I'm very much starved, I'm famished, but most of all I'm pumped as hell. And this time I'm gonna watch it in the cinema because last time I made a mistake of not doing that. 
and yeah. I was at a cafe when I filmed this and I just realized how yellow the lighting is so my apologies if it hurts your eyes. For this one, I decided to draw Tom Holland and Zendaya as Peter and MJ from Spider-Man. As you can tell, I have been quite obsessed with Spider-Man lately because of the new movie No Way Home. I mean, how could you not talk about it or do anything inspired by it? It's just one of the few good things to come out of 2021, you know? I don't want to spoil anything. Wait, has the spoiler ban been lifted? I think, yes. Man, I just answered my own question. But for real, I really loved this movie so much. I watched it twice. I watched it right after I finished my final exam. That's how much I love it. As nerve-wracking as it is, I do enjoy doing line art. It's so thrilling to watch a dull colored sketch get much more defined with bold strokes. It's like being short-sighted and putting on the right glasses for the first time. It's very refreshing. But of course, it really sucks when my hand accidentally goes berserk and the whole thing messes up. So. Coloring the skin is another huge issue for me, especially for Copic markers. You have to pay attention to the direction and the pressure of your brush pen, because the paper will eventually reveal whether you have mistreated the brush or not. Like sometimes there would be heavy patches of ink, and you can tell that the ink wasn't distributed evenly, and I don't want that to happen. For the hair, I had to put a layer of light brown to act as highlights and then I use a much darker brown to color and separate the strands and clumps of hair. Copic works the opposite way of like acrylic or oil paint where it's more ideal to paint the darker hair first and then put highlights on top. For Copic, you can't just put a lighter color over a dark one, you gotta plan it all out first. The background looks so empty, so I decided to put some references from the movies and actors like the broken Black Dahlia necklace, the Instagram posts of Tom and Zendaya, you know, their captions, the print on the coffee cup from MJ. I wanted to make it look like the art in the closing credits of No Way Home, so yeah.
Now it's scrapbooking time. The thing about scrapbooking is that it actually takes a lot more planning than expected. Like, it's easy to assume that the person who made the journal spread did it so effortlessly. Well, I can't speak for everyone, but it does take a lot of planning for me. Like, I gotta know which paper goes where, which sticker has the right color, etc. Oh yes, and I used some of my favorite lyrics at the moment. Both are from Taylor Swift. The first one with the stamps is from her song called A Better Man, and the other one is Tolerated. Aside from lyrics, I also wanted to put in some very memorable book quotes. This one is from The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I had just finished reading a few days before. The book was such a page turner, too much that I couldn't stop reading. I finished it at like 3am. I was like whimpering in bed at 3am because of that book. But yeah, I totally recommend it. <laughs> And here is the final look. You can take a moment to pause the video and read the quote. I like the quote because it's good and it also fits into the spread. And I also like the fact that I added the drawing of the eyes because it makes it less wordy, you know? And here, yes, Taylor Swift quotes. And the lace paper is a great add to the spread because it gives a little bit of brightness to it, I think especially against the brown craft paper. Last but not least, I made a bookmark. I got so fed up with using random stuff like receipts, wrapping paper, my phone as bookmarks, and I wanted to make sure that it had that Pinterest vintage look because unfortunately, I'm very basic. Here you can see me reading with that bookmark and I'm currently reading A Little Life. Yes, I know it's a tearjerker but I am ready for it. I want something that punches me right in the gut and makes me cry. That's exactly how I like books. 